Hey, what is up guys? So I'm gonna do screws here. Just want to share my thoughts with you guys real quick regarding Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition. I've been messing around with it uh, for a few nights now. And uh, overall, it's quite nice. I really do like it. Uh, it's actually, uh, you know, it's uh, they're shaking things up. You know, it's a breath of fresh air. You know, the balance changes and all that stuff. I'm seeing a lot of characters online. Uh, I actually never used to fight before. Like, for example, uh, Fong. For example, I fought like three of those in a row last night for some reason. Uh, they added the gallery mode, which is actually quite nice. It's good to know that the uh, CD movies are here, and you don't actually have to go to YouTube, to somebody's YouTube channel to watch them. That's a great addition right there. Uh, they also added arcade mode, as you can see. This got all these cool modes and stuff, but unfortunately, uh, for some reason, um, on my PS4, this this keeps freezing. I don't know if it's the game or if it's my PS4. I got no idea, but in arcade mode, it simply freezes. You know what I mean? Like, I'll beat a few opponents, and, uh, you know, perfect example, I was playing the Street Fighter 2 mode, I was about to fight Bison, and then froze. So I, uh, all I did uh, was just keep staring, uh, staring at this uh, white screen, and I had to back out of the freaking game, you know what I mean? I had to close the application. So, that sucks. I'm not really sure what that's about. I don't know if it's a server, or I got no idea, but hopefully uh, they fix it or something. I don't know. So, I actually purchased uh, Kasugano Residence, as you can see. And here I will be actually checking out uh, Chun Li's uh, second V trigger, which is her Kokosho. Um, overall, I think it's a good V trigger. I've been messing around with it uh, for a little bit uh, online, uh, a few nights now, and uh, I think it's a good uh, V trigger. If you're into like you know combos and stuff, you know you're kind of just showing off. But the V trigger as a whole does have a few defects, like for example the uh, the long startup, and uh, when you launch the uh, the Kosho, you think, hey, she's got like this sort of projectile thing going on, right? Maybe that can stop uh, projectiles. It doesn't. I was finding this guy uh, online, and he did his V trigger, started throwing sonic booms at me, and I thought, well, I can just use my Kosho to just you know block out a few of those. Nah, they went clean through. So that's something that I don't know if that's on purpose or I got no freaking idea. But uh, overall, the culture is pretty good, I would say, definitely, you know, because of this combo right here. Check this combo out. You know what I mean? Uh, you can just go straight into her freaking, uh, you can do something quite cool. You can go from the EX legs to Kosho to EX spin and Berkeley. That's quite nice. But uh, I'm not really sure if it's actually better than her original V-Trigger, to be honest. What I would have done is I would have had the, not the Kikosho, but I would have added the freaking, uh, the up kicks. I'm not really sure what they're called. The up kicks from Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter Alpha 3. Where she does like these up uh, kicks where she goes up. It's kind of like an anti air. So that's what I would have done to be honest. I would have added that. Um, Waikiko Show, I got no idea. Maybe it's like some kind of a uh, shout out to Street Fighter 4 because they, they, they did the same thing in Super Street Fighter 4 where they, her second Ultra was a Kiko Show. So I don't know what the hell that's about, but uh, um, it's a decent B trigger, I would say. Um, I've been messing around with it. It's pretty good. You know what I mean? I like catching people off guard with that. It's got this setup where if you if you hold it, you charge it up, you can actually break uh, the guard of your opponent. So that's something that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, I think you can just break their guard and follow up this with the critical art. But uh, yeah, definitely. Take a little sip here of my uh, Coca Cola. Mm. These are some matches I had against a Sakura player called uh, Blake973 Boy. And uh, I thought that the matches themselves were, were pretty decent, you know what I mean? But this guy, he kept jumping in for some reason. I'm guessing, you know, obviously people, that, you know, Sakura just came out here in Street Fighter 5. She's actually, actually quite different from uh, her Street Fighter 4 version. You know, they made some, uh, especially, uh, you know, her that, that right there, the Tatsu. The Tatsu is actually way freaking slower. The Choryuken, the Light Choryuken just goes straight up. So they did some uh, changes to Sakura, definitely. And I'm guessing people just aren't used to the, uh, to the changes yet. Ooh, that was nice. That, that was a nice crush counter right there. Excellent. Damn. Whoop that ass. Get that ass whooped. That was good, actually. Good round. But uh, to be fair to the Sakura player, he did get uh, one win on me. This was actually the first match we had. Then he won the second match. And then we had the third match where I won. So overall, I thought the match was actually quite good. And I did get to use the Kosho a little bit, definitely. But uh, I had this guy locked down. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, for some reason, he just kept jumping. I'm not really sure why. You know, after you get any air for like the fifth time, I think it's time to just stop jumping in. You know what I mean? But uh, that's me. I'm going to be honest. I actually, I never jump in. When I'm fighting online, I never jump in unless I have a good, solid read. If I had that good, solid read, I know the guy's going to do something. Like, for example, I don't know, projectile, Hadouken. Then, obviously, yeah, you can jump in. If you have that good, solid read, you can jump in. But, uh, you know, don't just go jumping in, you know, willy-nilly, you know, when the guy's just standing still, you know what I mean? Because, uh, obviously, you're going to get any air. 
Uh, one thing that I like to do though is like, oh, that was nice. Like sometimes I'll actually uh, sort of like charge back and then move forward because that's kind of a thing. A lot of people say, oh, uh oh, Kiko uh, the Kikogan's coming out. You know what I mean? But what I do is I won't throw the Kikogan. They jump and then I anti air them right there. So that's actually pretty cool. And uh, this was the third match we had. And, uh, you know, overall, it's a nice costume, by the way, for Sakura. Oh my god, yeah, I couldn't follow up there with the freaking, uh, with the stomps, you know what I mean? This match, there was a slight delay in this match. But, uh, overall, definitely, you know, the matches were good. I've been, actually been facing a lot of Sakuras, to be honest. Uh, and Fang, too, for some reason, I'm not really sure why. You know, last night I fought like three Fangs in a row. Like, I don't know what the hell that's about. You know, when before Arcade Edition came out, uh, Fang was like this really rare character. I only saw him like one or two times, uh, to be honest, in you know, the many months that I've been playing Street Fighter V. So I'm not, I'm not really sure. Maybe he got buffed. I'm not really sure what the hell happened. But now I'm just seeing Fangs everywhere. So I don't know. Maybe they buffed him. Maybe they gave him some buffs. Could be. I'm not really sure. To be quite honest, I don't like fighting Fang. I don't know. I mean, I don't like the character as a whole. I don't like the idea of a character just being able to poison you. And then he can just sort of, uh, zone you out with, you know, with poison attacks and all that sort of stuff. I don't like that idea. Definitely. You know what I mean? It's really hard to get a perfect uh, on Fang because of that. Because he can, can just poison you and then just back up. He can just back up all day long. You know what I mean? And I'm sure somebody will say, well, you know, you just gotta get in there. Just gotta get in there, gotta get in there. Yeah, I gotta get in there. But the problem is that he's got all these freaking tools that he can use to keep me out. You know what I mean? And the, and, and the clock is ticking. That's the problem. I have two clocks ticking. I have the timer on the top, and I also have the poison. But uh, overall, definitely, you know, it's, it's all being patient with Fong, definitely. Just get in there, you know, just wait till the guy screws up. But I will have to look it up online, because I got no idea. Maybe he got, he got, he got buff. I don't know. Could be. I do know that Chun Li got buffed, that's for sure. And I believe that in this round I actually use her uh, the Kikosho. The delicious Kikosho. But, uh, you know, with this Sakura, I could just do pretty much whatever the hell I wanted. That was the best part. I could just do. When you can do whatever the hell you want with your opponent, you're doing good. Oh my god. And then he actually gets me here. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Yeah, I stepped forward here, and then he hit me with this uh, actually really nice, uh, nice setup right here. Cool setup. But unfortunately, it doesn't save him. He actually loses this, this this round here. Doesn't matter. So he hit that cool setup, and I actually wanted to. Ooh, oh my god! Ooh, got me with that. Nice. Oh my god! Then just you have crouching and light punch into the ex spinning bird kick. Uh, quite nice. These matches were good. Uh, good good games to uh, Blake nine seven three boy. Mm. Now these next matches. Um, these are some matches I had against a Yuri player, who was uh. A little bit, uh, a little bit disrespectful, I would say. I'm not really sure what was happening with this player. I found this player to be a little bit uh, disrespectful. You know the way he was, uh, you know, moving around the uh, the stage and all that stuff. I don't know why. So, uh, so this little jewelry right here, I had to put this jewelry in her place. You know what I mean? And I felt good. It felt really good. You know what I mean? Had to, had to own, uh, own some ass here. You know what I mean? Because uh, I don't know what's going on. Just, you know, disrespecting me. You know what I mean? I don't like that crap. And then just matching out that jab. See what I mean? Just matching stuff out. You know what I mean? But, uh, oh my god. Got me with that right in the freaking face. And yes, it's just an, just an annoying freaking... Uh, um, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to blame the character for this, obviously. Because I do use Yuri as well. And he could, he can poison it. He can uh, get me dizzy. That's good. He can get me this. And then I do actually do try a comeback here. But unfortunately, with uh, no success. But, uh, yeah, you know, I tried the comeback. That's kind of a thing. You know, I always see a lot of people when they when they reach the, this part right here. They're like, ah, I can't beat the guy. Screw it. I'm going to give up. Well, not me. Because check this out. Boom. Very nice. Got that set up right there. I think I could have followed that up with something if I had meter. But unfortunately, I didn't have meter. And then, whoa, that was good tech. Got him with the coach. See what I mean? The coach is actually quite useful for, for comebacks, I would say. And then, oh my god! Check this out, check this out, check this out. I think, I think it's, ah, I screwed that up. God damn it. I really thought he was going to go for something else. But yeah, he read the, the EA Kikoken. And uh, it's a shame because I, I, I wasted the meter and I also, uh, you know, got uh, the comeback was denied pretty much. But uh, definitely, you know what I mean? I, that's kind of how I am. Kind of like Justin Wong, you know, in that regard. I actually don't give up. You know what I mean? And then the guy goes, and then for some reason the guy just starts grabbing like crazy because when I blocked the overhead, I don't know what happened. Well, I, I did grab him right there. But what happens is that the guy, I don't, ooh, somebody's dizzy. But definitely, I think, I'm not really sure who started the, uh, who fired the first shot, I would say. 
you know, I went for one grab, you know, just one little, you know, harmless little grab, you know, I mean, I wanted to get into the corner, and uh, somebody got destroyed here, somebody got their ass whooped, I would say, <laughs> But definitely, you know what I mean? But then for some reason, this round, the guy just starts grabbing like freaking crazy. And that was that's a good setup. That'd be one of my patented setups. I don't want nobody stealing that. I don't want nobody stealing that setup. Because I will find you and I will, I don't know, I'm not really sure what I'll do. Uh-oh! Somebody's dizzy again! God damn! See, I, that's what I'm talking about. I had to put the jewelry in her place. Doing for the grab, no sa. No sa, no grab, no grab. Oh my god. And then... And then, yeah, he keeps doing, oh, well, okay, that was a good grab, that was a good setup there for the grab, screwed up, oh my god, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, I don't remember, I've not seen this replay in a while, boom, toss his ass right to the ground, very nice, you know, overall, the matches were good, and I'm actually, you know, I was actually surprised when he actually hit the, the rematch button, you know, that just, just blew my mind, I don't know why, when I play Street Fighter V, there's a lot of people that don't, don't hit the rematch button for some reason, where they win, where they lose, I don't know why, so for me, it's kind of a rare, uh, rare occurrence, when they actually do hit the rematch button, so if you are, if you, if we played uh, online, and you hit that rematch button, then thank you, I appreciate it, because for some reason, a lot of people don't hit the rematch button, you know, like, for example, I was finding this Dalsum last night, Good match. It was close. It was a solid match. And then he won at the end. You know what I mean? It was like neck and neck. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's do another one. You know, I want the rematch. Whatever. And then the guy just left. And I was like, but why, why no rematch? You know what I mean? We had a good match. We had a good, you know, nice match. It was solid. It was tight. You know, it was super close. You know, neck and neck there. You're not hitting the rematch button for some reason. I don't know. So that did upset me. I did get salty. And boom, that was a good combo. But, you know, overall, I would say that, yeah, you know what I mean? Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition is really freaking good. And the best part is, I did not pay a single cent for it. That's that's probably the best part. But definitely, you know, I did uh, stream the entire thing on Twitch when I was messing around with it. And for some reason, the freaking, the game just kept freezing in the arcade mode. You know what I mean? So the, the stream as a whole was kind of a disaster. I'm going to be honest. The stream was a disaster because it just kept freezing. But, uh, but I still had fun, definitely. And then, you know, I did some online. The matches ran like crap. Oh my god, screwed that. We both screwed up, actually, there. Oh, he's, he's got this setup in the corner. That's kind of a thing with Jewelry. You can't let Jewelry get you in the corner. Oh my god, you gotta block that low, bro. Gotta block that low, my boy. And then, ooh, okay, yeah, I, I, I gotta block that low. But definitely, you know what I mean? Arcade Edition is good. Arcade Edition is nice. If you have Street Fighter V, it's free. You know, just download the update. Ooh, that was a good Kikosho. Perfect way to close out the video. Alright, so that is pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. But the most important thing is to enjoy the content itself. And follow me on Twitch. Later.